All right, folks, I'm gonna do this intro while I'm walking. Guys, I'm here, Pompano Beach, and we are going permit fishing on the beach. Just a couple days ago, Dude Perdick caught a, a like a almost record-breaking permit, 45.7 pounds on 15 pound tests. It was only, I believe nine ounces away from the 15 pound or 16 pound test world record. And uh, it was a monster guys, absolute beast. We're gonna have some footage of that and we're gonna have some dialogue on what it's, what is it like to catch a dinosaur permit on the beach from the shore. Guys, check this video out. We're going fishing right now. We're gonna see Dude Perdick here in a few minutes. And uh, so Susan was kind of forced to leave. Uh, there's been a big war over some of the unit owners here didn't want to sell. Some of them did. And eventually um, the almighty dollar won. So uh, they're being forced out. And guys, this 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 is the last week that Susan's here. But Eric went out on a, with a bang, caught a monster 45.7 pound permit, just a couple ounces away from the line class world record 16 pound class, line class record and uh sorry there's a uh, helicopter there interfering with my video thanks for nothing uh guys but what we're gonna do we're gonna go down here this could be the last time i fish on aunt susan's beach because she's moving this week um <sighs> caught many fish here so guys let's get to the video let's see if we can get a doozy in our last episode at aunt susan's beach let's fish Okay, Eric has brought us a bucket full of crabs. These are just a day or two old. I'm going to start calling this man Mr. Crabs. Mr. Crabs right there setting up the crab trap. We're getting our crab rod set up. Guys, we're going to have, I believe, 10 crab rods set up. And we're, we're putting the trap out for new ones. So, guys, we've got all these. We're going to put them out, and we're going to see if we can get tied on a permit. Dude Perdick, the almost world record-breaking you know, I was just talking to James up at my sister's, and he said, man, almost world record. I said, yeah, but uh, I said, honestly, it's just the fight and the memory. I, world record would be nice. but <laughs> World record would be nice because you don't have no idea what kind of attention comes our way. Oh, yeah? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, man, just, just having that thing on. So 15 pound test. 15 pound test. 40, 45.7 pounds. On 15 pound test. On 15 pound test. Nine ounces away from the world record. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Move okay, on, okay. we've got a freshie, guys. Right away on the outside? <laughs> yeah, on the outside? Yeah. All right. I got, I got, Dude, clip the, clip the claws off. 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 <laughs> it's not, it's not well, he's Mr. With the Krabs. Sand. Oh, Mr. Krabs. With the sand. Oh, dude, he's perfect. Okay, so you're going to... All your rods are out? Yeah, all rods are out, but we can reel... Bring one in. Bring, bring, one, in, bring, bring one, one No, you know what you're going to bring in? Bring in the little Shimano uh, Speedmaster uh -huh. and, and put put okay. that guy out. Okay. Guys. Hey, you, can, you can do that. I'm going to go get some more. Yeah. All right, so guys, here's the deal. Lorenzo just told me what to do. Uh, I'm going to actually drink some of my coffee because we actually have... Let's count them. We've got... One, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven crabs out right now, guys. They're all frozen. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Uh, we've got about an hour and 45 minutes before the sun goes down. We have an we have an outgoing tide. We've got uh, overcast skies, 10, 15% chance of rain. This is beautiful, perfect. We're just, right now, guys, we're just waiting for one of these rod tips to sing. Uh, we're hard at work. I'm sweating. I'm the designated cameraman here, guys. I got my GoPro 10, uh, Hero 10 going. I've got my phone. I've got everything I need to uh, to be successful videographer today. So, guys, I'm going to put that live crab out and get at least one livey out. But uh, there's a lot of crabs coming into the crab trap. So we're going to hope to substitute some of these dead ones for fresh live ones. Let's fish. All right, so Aunt Susan's situation. Yeah, so she is moving. She, she has to move, uh, landlords are moving in here. It's one of these places, and we're not gonna tell anybody where it is, but it's this great place where it's in between a lot of the big hotels, but it's just 
to slight two uh, rows of units. Little, eight, little one story units? One story, eight in each Probably side. Probably built in the 1950s. Sidewalk and middle. Everybody in there knows each other. It's a community. It's a fantastic place to live on the beach, right on the sand. And she's been renting for a while? Is that what it is? For about four years. Four we've years. Been we've been killing it over here. Dang. So she free gets, babysitting. She's moving by you, actually. Yeah, free babysitting. I mean, it's great because she gets <laughs> she gets to see my kids. My kids get to see her. She has snacks. She has cases snacks. lightning. We get to go in there. She brings us coffee. It's home base, shower, parking. I mean, it's everything. Everything that, you can imagine. Everything that nobody else has for beach fishing. <laughs> you guys wish you were us, but now, now but we're now, not. Now we're not going to be us anymore. <laughs> because uh, what, what's going on now, Eric? So, so she's moving. So we're trying to squeeze as many fishing days in here as possible. Yeah before she leaves and so she's leaving in two days really so tomorrow night's an optional night as well okay. and wednesday she'll she'll be gone she'll be by us so so what happened oh like, look at this guy oh buddy oh there's and, susan too look and look. walking down the beach we have two heroes two of our of our two superstars <laughs> raj the iguana man what's up bro how you doing raj i'm doing good man I'm yeah doing great yeah dude it's been a little while it's been a minute, man. Yeah? Last time we saw minute. you in the pier? Yeah. Well, I think, yeah. Hey. So, Raj, here's the deal, man. We've got we've got 10 crabs out right now. 10? 10. 10. We've got 10 crabs. So, you've never caught a permit, have you? Nah. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. All right. Permit virgin. You heard it here first, guys. We've got to get Raj tight. Let's see if we can get Raj tight on a permit. Oh, man. Guys. Uh, got, uh, Eric, come here. After this annoying helicopter passes... We're going to talk about your almost world record permit. So nine ounces away from the 16 pound class, uh, world line class world record guys, nine ounces, 45.7 pounds. And I didn't know that it was a big deal until you just told me that we would get our attention. Yeah. I, I mean, if I you got, got a world record, maybe they'll give us a, you know, some poles some gear, some, I don't know. You get sponsors. Special yeah. oh, sponsor. You do. You get, yeah. <laughs> so the garage man living up, living up the, the dream, man. Full time fishing and iguana hunting. Yeah, iguanas yeah. all day, baby. Yeah. Raj, how's the iguana thing going? Oh, uh, the iguana thing is going good, man. We've been somewhat busy. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of them, and now people are you know really want them gone. So yeah, they're, they're all we've been, they're we've all been stacked over. up. We've been stacked up, dude. All right, guys, Raj the iguana man, amazing channel. Check it out. Links in the description. Uh, all things iguanas and a whole lot more. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So so here, Eric, we got to do we got to figure something out here now. In order to qualify a, a fish for the world record, there's all kinds of qualifying fish situations. Which I, did, which I did not know about. Yeah, so we got we're, we're looking into we're actually looking into the IGFA uh, situation because because we I've been part of 20 different permit caught on the beach. Two of them were in the 40 pound range. That's like like three quarters of the way to the all class all tackle world record of 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. It's very possible. That we could catch a world record fish. Well, fish. we've been taken out. You know, we've been hit hard here by, by fish. Yeah. 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 By yeah. fish on crabs, right? Yeah. And we've Peace lost out. them, so who knows? Peace out. Who knows? Peace who knows? out. Who knows exactly. which one it is? That kid in Delray Beach, right? A kid caught the Yeah, a kid caught a world record, uh, a junior angler record. Junior angler, okay. On Delray Beach. What was it? Was it like you know 50, yeah, it was like 53 pounds or something like that. It's unbelievable how big. So, to try uh, to okay, there's a massive... Oh, dolphin. Oh, no, no, no. What is it? Those are spinner sharks. Are you sure? Are they dolphins? We saw a dolphin yesterday right there, same place. We saw well, dolphin. Michael, dolphin again. Well, they're feeding, dude. They yeah. might be on mullet. Oh, they might be. Yeah, they guys. Be yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not. Way the heck out there, there's mullet. Right, 200 yards out there. There's a dolphin. There's a bird diving for uh, Osprey bird. diving. Osprey diving. Yeah, guys, there's activity on the beach. Right, I'm going to go check out yeah. the, the, the cast. But, situation. guys, one of the things we got to do, Eric, one of the things we got to do real quick, when... When a rod goes out, only one person can touch the rod. Amen to that, yeah. Okay, because uh, two people touch the rod, it doesn't count. Yeah. And now here's the infamous Aunt Susan. Aunt Susan? Aunt Susan actually landed it technically because I, <laughs> I had to go out in the water and get her the net, but she was the one holding the rod when it came out of the water. So that's her fish. Aunt Susan, you will, you yeah, will go down. This guy has in his, in his clutch. Okay, what is the osprey? Comment down below, guys. It's got something in his That's what? a mullet, dude. Yes. What does the osprey have in his talons? Dude, that's a mullet. Yeah, boy. Comment down below. Mullet. He's right in the shoreline. I'm gonna go get yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt Susan? It's mullet time. It's mullet time. Oh, look at you. Like, like a pro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Aunt Susan, thank you for all these years of amazingness on Aunt Susan's Beach. My goal is to come back. Oh. Mark my words. There it is. Aunt Susan the prophet. 
the prophetess prophesying that she will be back. And let's let's pray it into existence, guys. Let's get back Aunt Susan back on the beach because she deserves where, it. Where where I belong and where you belong. <laughs> but not on Aunt Susan's beach. You gotta find your own beach. This is ours. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. Let's catch fish.